Hello, today we are going to give a answer to, I mean solution to our subscriber question. So what is that question? First we will read it out and then we will go for the solution. So one request, can you connect MySQL database into PostgreSQL tables? If yes, please make one small video. Uh, yes, we can, yeah, we can be able to, uh, I mean, connect MySQL tables into PostgreSQL. For that, we actually have uh, three steps. The first step you need to follow is, first we have to export data from MySQL database to MySQL to, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, from MySQL we need to export data into data.sql some uh, other file you, we have to uh, export the data and then we need to convert uh, uh, sql data to i mean mysql exported data to postgresql and the third step is we have to verify whether it has been migrated properly or not so these three steps we have to follow uh, I'll show you the commands also for these uh, two steps. Uh, what are the commands you need to use? What are the tools are required for this? Uh, for, let me start the topic. See here. Yeah, your question is how to connect MySQL tables into PostgreSQL table. So here, uh, the first step, what I told, export data from MySQL. We have to uh, use MySQL dump tool. To export the data from mysql tables to a file first of all for that the command is mysql dump and then hyphen u which means username you have to give your username and then hyphen p here database name what is your database name that you need to give so and then uh, this symbol after that uh, you have your storing into this data.sql file. All the exported data will be stored into data.sql file. This name you can give anything as per your requirement. Okay. So then once you execute this command, right, uh, then what you, it will happen? Uh, it will export all the data from MySQL data, database to data.sql file. Okay. So here and then second step what you have to follow is convert data to PostgreSQL format. So for this we have to use a tool like a PZ Loader or Talend to convert data into data SQL file to PostgreSQL format. So this you need to execute in MySQL database and then in the PostgreSQL right we should have a PZ Loader to import that particular data. Okay, so for that oh, you can directly download uh, this PZ loader from their website, PostgreSQL website or install it using your system package manager as well. Anything is fine. So for now you have to convert the data. See PZ loader, this first you have to connect to MySQL database with the username and password uh, and also what is the database name. After that uh, you have to, this is the source from here and we are converting to PostgreSQL database. This is the uh, destination database. Okay, PostgreSQL username, password and then database name you have to give. So this command will convert the data from MySQL database to PostgreSQL database. Uh, so here you have to be careful like uh, you need to replace your username. I'm just giving syntax here. You have to give your username, password and database name with the proper values. Fine. Uh, yeah. Once you are done with the PZ loader, right, then what it will happen? You have to, uh, it will get uh, converted from, uh, I mean, uh, MySQL to PostgreSQL. All the tables will convert. After that, you need to verify it. So, whether uh, the prop, I mean, all the table structure and the data. Uh, has been um, converted properly or not with the select queries and I mean with the yeah, retrieving data from the tables. So all these queries by using uh, you can verify the data in a PostgreSQL tables. So this the, these are the steps you need to follow. 
after that uh, if you wanted to uh, happen this is like a ongoing replication like uh, it i mean based on schedule automatically it has to convert every time right for that purpose if you need to keep data in your mysql and postgresql database in sync which means if i am inserting one table or updating some data in the tables right in the mysql database then uh, that uh, uh, that all the data will be updated continuously to the postgresql table uh, which means both should be in a sync then you will need to set up ongoing replication this can be done using tool like bucardo which is designed specifically specifically for database replication so this is just small step i have given if it is useful you can use it okay so main thing which you have to keep in mind is whenever you are migrating data between databases with this is complex process it is not that so easy you have to uh, test uh, migrate i mean you have to test uh, the data whether it is migrated properly or not thoroughly you have to test it and all the database um, uh, what backup you have to keep it otherwise you may lose the data so Uh, that is the reason first of all before performing any steps in the database you have to keep a backup i hope you understood well about these steps uh, whoever has been asked and uh, which will be useful for others also thank you for asking question uh, yeah if you do like this video please do like and subscribe to my channel thank you